All right, guys, comment of the day coming in from Mr. James Baldwin, who says, I'm an 84 overall. Like goal for this video, guys, coming to Smash 75 likes. And finally, question of the day is going to go ahead and be, if you could name one player on your favorite NFL squad that you just love that player, and you think this year is the year they break out, comment down below. I can't wait to read these comments at the end of this year and see who truly broke out. Alright guys, so this is another way of sniping. This is actually a way that a lot of people use outside of just the auction house. And this is, of course, sniping through sets. Now at the moment, the best set we have to go ahead and snipe through are going to be the legend sets. Just because of the fact that they are the easiest sets to go through. They do have certain cards you can go ahead and go, you know, go through easily. And it's not much of an issue. Now throughout the whole entire season of Mutt 19, we will have a lot of different promos released into the game. And as more and more promos get released in the game, that's when these kind of sets sniping really becomes really important. Um, you can also, my bad, you can also snipe through the, uh, not the team captain sets, the team diamond sets. You can also snipe those through those sets. Those are also great sets to do. But let's say as the time goes on and we have team of the week's uh, promo comes out and those sets start releasing. This is a great way to go ahead and make some really good coins. Whenever a team of the week set releases, let's say in the first hour of it releasing, a great way to make coins is go ahead and just go into that set and go through each single card and keep doing exactly what I'm doing here. And eventually what will happen, especially in the first hour, is people will be pulling these cards and they'll throw them up for really nilly not knowing what they go for. Some, by mistake, you might get a couple 150 coin snipes that way. And some of them just because of the fact that, you know, People people really don't know what they go for. And they're like, it's an 83 overall. Maybe let's go ahead and throw that card up for, you know, for a certain uh, price tag. And hopefully it sells and I actually make some coins back. Now, with that in mind, though, you know, it all depends on how lucky you can get. That does come down to that. And, of course, you have to be very, very fast when it comes to certain promos. Now, a good way to go ahead and snipe faster when it comes to certain sets is if there's a set with, say, with 100 different versions of one card. If you go ahead and go into a set and you click X real fast, it will show you five random cards every single time and you can go ahead and have a better chance at sniping a certain card and actually getting a good deal on a certain card so again depending on what promo comes out and if the card is just completely flooded a lot of times that happens with collectibles then you can go ahead and just hit x real fast get five random cards pop up and you can go ahead and be able to get a good snipe on those cards now again this whole idea i'm talking about this works all year long. It's not just like, oh, well, it's just right now, and then, you know, that's it. With every single promo releasing, this will become a prevalent thing in the game. And again, this is honestly what I like to snipe the most. This is how I like to snipe the most because it gives me the most opportunity and most, you know, I guess, chances for my time of sniping. There's a lot of times where I go ahead and buy a card in the sets like this, and I'll go ahead and resell it. Now, you have to be very, very careful and uh, what I mean by that is because you have to know what these cards go for. A lot of times the set prices will always be more expensive than they should be to go ahead and complete the whole entire set. So for example, you have to look up, if you're going to be sniping some legends, take a quick look on lighthead.com and see how much these cards are going for. So you know, okay, if I buy, you know, Reggie White at uh, 83 overall for 19,000 coins, is that what he's actually going for? Because what happened a lot of times, and this actually, you'll fall victim to this at nighttime sniping. Again, night sniping, we talked about the last two videos. Very awesome thing to do, but it's very risky at the same time. Uh, if you go ahead and fall into that whole trap of night sniping, a lot of times, because there's less people on, these set cards will go ahead and go for a lot more than they actually go ahead and should be. Because not many people are getting on, completing sets, going and putting cards up. So you have to be very careful with that in mind. You do not want to go ahead and get tricked in this buying card that goes way too much when it's not selling for that. And then the next day, you try to sell the card. And you're going to be in the hole because it's not going to be selling for that much. So again, as I said, always check how much cards go for on mutthead.com. Great source to go ahead and get a good understanding on, you know, okay, am I getting a good deal on this card? Yes or no. Now, of course, I feel like there's a lot less competition when it comes to set sniping. Uh, yes, there are some people like 
myself that love set sniping, but some people do not. Some people like to go in and just go in the ocean block, mainly because it is not as consistent. You can see right there, I went through the whole entire 14 sets. I didn't get one snipe. It's not as consistent. I am doing this at 7 p.m. I would recommend doing a set sniping whenever a new car drops. Saturday is a great example. Whenever a new promo drops. But as I was saying though, it's just it's not as prevalent as it normal as it should honestly be. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and go right into the Team Diamond sets. So again, this is a good example of the SE Team Diamond sets are a great way to snipe too. And this actually makes it a little bit easier than going ahead and going to the auction block. Because of the auction block, when we went ahead and did do those sniping, yes, it's you can snipe off the auction block, and you saw me do it the other, uh, like the last five episodes of the series, and it was pretty awesome. I mean, I did get some good snipes. But the issue when it comes to that kind of stuff is that, yes, you can do it, but this is a little bit more of a exclusive way to snipe just because of the fact that you know what exact elites are going ahead and going to these sets and what elites will be put up more often than not to go ahead and get some good snipes now i do not recommend going ahead and sniping the gold cards i said this in a previous video but the gold card market is always a very strange market and it's impossible to predict. It's impossible to really know what gold cards are going to go for. They are so they fluctuate so freaking much. They go from you know high, low, high, low, depending on what uh, packs are in the game, depending on you know what uh, sets are in the game. I would never recommend holding or sorry sniping gold cards. I recommend if you do have gold cards, I would probably sell them. Um. This is a 300 coin snipe. Okay, I just missed it. Okay, so that is you saw right there. Someone just got that. That was 300 coin snipe, which again, I've said this many times in the past. 300 coin snipes, are they worth it? Yes, because they add up, right? They do add up, but at the same time, it is a 300 coin snipe. I'm not going to break my back of a 300 coin snipe. I'm going to go ahead and try to get one. But if I am too slow, like in that case where I just missed it, I'm not really that mad. Now I have lost, you know, in the past, in the past videos, you guys seeing, I have lost snipes of larger uh, calibers, like, you know, 2K. And I think I lost when I was 7K the other night, which 7K snipes, those are the ones that really hurt just because of the fact that that's a lot of coins. And you get a couple 7K snipes, you're going to, your coins are going to start adding up very, very quickly. And then you're going to start making a lot of coins, right? So losing those snipes are the worst. But again, in a like in these videos, I do a 10 minute sniping video. So realistically, if I did these for 30 minutes, I probably could get five, six, seven, eight snipes, and that slowly adds up. But just again, I do do these videos at 10 minute videos just to go ahead and make them a little bit shorter for you guys. I know not everyone wants a 20 minute video of me covering one subject. And even if I am sniping in these videos, it's not as prevalent or as watchable as it would be. So that's why I do go ahead and try to make these videos a little bit shorter just to make it a little bit more watchable. Now, again, you can snipe the cards that aren't into these sets and the cards that don't go into these sets will go ahead and be, of course, the uh, other base elites that go for these teams. For example, kickers and punters, I do not believe goes in this set just so that they can make it a little bit cheaper to do the set. But at the same time, of course... Um, you know, those cards can be very snipable too. Kickers and punters especially, because I believe that some kickers and punters, depending on what the overall is, they have, you know, of course, they have really good training value. So sniping those cards can be a really, really good idea to go for. So again, it's not always just one certain position. I get a comment sometimes where it's like, oh, hey, what's the best, you know, range to snipe for? And there's all types of ranges you can snipe uh, at. You can snipe at 80, 81. You can snipe. It all depends on how much coins you have, pretty much. I have 30,000 coins in this video, so my range of sniping would be more of an 80 to an 81 instead of, you know, if you have 100,000 coins, 300,000 coins, a million coins, you can go ahead and up that, you know, sniping value to a certain degree because obviously it does go ahead and you have more of a uh, leniency to go ahead and do. With that in mind, though, let's go ahead and see what we have here. Nothing special. And again, I am sniping at 7 p.m. I'm not actually, I'll admit, though, I am sniping 7 p.m. One thing. Second thing, though, I am not getting any lucky with people putting up these cards for cheap. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I had a, what, a 300 coin snipe that was pretty decent that I did miss out on. Again, there's only 300 coins. Uh, nonetheless, though, I got to admit that, you know, 
I am not really having much luck, which sometimes that's just a, that just happens. You know, it's not always you're going to go on the block and get a million good snipes. And again, I said this before. I think I said this in the beginning of the video. Set sniping is not always the way to go, especially when it comes to stuff like this, because you are looking at certain cards, right? You are breaking it down by certain cards. You're not looking at a wide a variety of cards that you could go ahead and get a, you know, crazy snipe with so for example if we go ahead and go to the auction block that's why i do like the auction block sniping and i've said this before it's more consistent it's uh in my opinion it can be a lot better depending on you know your luck and also what time you snipe at um and as i said in many videos the time you snipe at is very very important so you see right here seven or oh, i always make this mistake let's go ahead and do that as you see right here 722 is what time I snipe at what well, right now and again that's not the time you want to snipe at the time you want to snipe at is going to be around uh 1 to 4 p.m so if you enjoyed this video guys make sure to like and subscribe button see you guys in the next one peace out